Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunda Film, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about creating four different glitch effects and distortions that are extremely powerful, but very easy to create. Let's go ahead and jump in the video and see what we can do. All right, so creating glitch effects is a lot of fun because you get to stockpile all these different glitch elements to create one overall glitch slash distortion effect. Now in this video, I wanna go over these four techniques. Hopefully we get it done in a minute each, so four minutes there. So let's go ahead and jump into it and see if we can do it. So the first technique we're gonna talk about, image distortion, which is this effect right here. It's really easy to do and very easy to customize. The first thing you wanna do is create a solid. Then you wanna grab fractal noise. Set the noise type to block increase the contrast to almost 200 and decrease the brightness to about negative 100. Go to the transform tab, uncheck uniform scaling, increase the scale width to about 800. And if you want, you can decrease the complexity to have sharper distortions or keep it around five to six to have a little bit of noise in that distortion. And then go into the evolution options and all click the stopwatch random seed and type in time asterisk 10. And you should have something like this, and if you want this to be faster, you can increase the number on the expression. When you're done, go ahead and pre-compose this layer, and click on Move All Attributes into New Composition. Then turn off the layer, and create an adjustment layer. And then grab Displacement Map, and apply it to your adjustment layer. Then our Displacement Map layer, set this to Noise, and then you can adjust a horizontal and vertical displacement as you see fit. And to fix the cropping on the edges, Bring in Motion Tile. Make sure Motion Tile is placed above the displacement map. Check on Mirror Edges, increase the output height and width. So now you should be able to create some very customizable image distortion, but what about the most important effect of a glitch effect? If you don't have this ingredient, well, you don't have a glitch effect. And what's that? That's RGB splitting. It's very easy to do. Let's take a look at it. All right, when you're ready to create RGB splitting, grab all your layers and pre-compose it. And the first thing you do is you duplicate your layer. And the first effect you want to apply is Motion Tile and check on mirror edges and increase the output width and height. And then you wanna grab shift channels. And where it says green and blue, you wanna click on those and set it to full off. And then you'll wanna duplicate your layer, set the red to full off and turn the green back on. Duplicate it one more time, turn off the green and set it to blue. Then take the two top layers and set the blend mode from normal to screen. And for the top layer, hit PR and keyboard for position, all click the stopwatch and type in wiggle, open parenthesis 2 comma 200, and you can adjust your own settings. And now you'll have a slight RGB glitch on the top layer. You can copy the expression and paste it to the second layer. If you want to control your glitch effect, bring up the opacity, add a keyframe for that, and move it forward in time, set down the opacity to 0%, and then move to where you want the distortion to end, add a keyframe, move forward by a little bit more, and set it down to 0%. And now you can copy the keyframes to the other layers. And now we have a controlled glitch effect. So now that RGB splitting is out of the way, let's talk about my favorite element of creating glitch effect. And it's mostly used for transitions, but you can use it for whatever. And that's messing with the optics, specifically using optics compensation to help distort your image. Create a new adjustment layer and grab optics compensation. From here, increase the field of view to about 120 and then click on reverse lens distortion. And then alt click the stopwatch for view center and type in wiggle open parenthesis 5 comma 1000 close parenthesis and let's be sure to control our optics by adding keyframe for the field of view and then going back in time setting it down to zero and then going to where we want the compensation to end and set it down to zero as well and to polish the effect let's add radial blur let's increase the amount to about 43 set the type to zoom and then animate the radial blur amount to zero to 41 and back to zero to have a smooth transition. And if you want, make sure to apply the same motion tile technique to cover up any black edges. And there you have optics compensation and what it can do for our transition or just to your overall image is just awesome. And now for our final and last technique, and I wouldn't be doing any justice if I didn't talk about tidal glitches. And this is a very cool technique that you can put together really quick. First, let's take notice that my title is underneath my image distortion effect. And then let's go ahead and open up our title and let's go to the animate tab and let's add opacity. From here, we can bring down the opacity to 0%, open up range selector 1, and set the offset to 100%, and then all click the stopwatch and type in wiggle, open parenthesis, 2, comma, 100, close parenthesis. 
and if everything is laid out correctly you should have a very nice glitch effect and there you have a very lovely glitch effect and now you can start making a presence on the dark web if you don't have the patience to create glitch effects or you're looking for some other ideas on how to create glitch effects, go ahead and check our links in the video description. It'll take you to Video Hive where you're going to see all these glitch effect templates that you're seeing right now for After Effects. There are thousands of these glitch templates just for After Effects on Video Hive. These are pre made and ready to go, meaning you just got to drag and drop your logo or titles and footage, and you can render them out and be done in a couple of minutes. And that's really what I like about these templates. Also, you know, I got a lot of cool ideas from these templates. So if you want to create your own glitch effects, go ahead and check our links as well. So you can learn a little bit more about some other glitch effect ideas. But if you're interested in any of these templates, go ahead and check our links in the video description. So I hope you guys enjoyed this fast paced in your face tutorial. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel, Sunduck Film. We do post two After Effects slash post-production tutorials every week here on this channel. If you did enjoy the video, of course, help me out by dropping a like. That's very helpful. Hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description. And always be creating.